What's good everyone, Lucas is here from Solid State Logic and today we're going to be taking a look at something a little bit different, the MPC channel strip from Harrison Audio. So for those of you working in post, the MPC will be no stranger to you. For those of you who are coming from a different angle, the MPC channel is an all-in-one signal processing suite for mixing and editing audio and post-production and film. It's equipped with six essential mixing tools that use the same powerful DSP found in Harrison's renowned motion picture console, often found in high-end studios around the world. Now, the processing sections, referred to as modules, can all be monitored simultaneously in one resizable window so that everything that's happening can be visualized at once. Other useful features include rearrangeable signal flow, fully automatable parameters, and advanced RTA displays in each section. The MPC channel is optimized for large format post-production sessions, allowing hundreds of instances to be deployed without negatively affecting your CPU performance. So having the power of the MPC channel across your entire mix is no problem. And given the depth and control you can get from the MPC channel, will mean that it will often be the only channel strip plugin necessary to take your post-production workflow to the next level. And here's the best bit. Previously, the MPC channel was exclusively DSP based, but now it's available cross-platform so you can get this powerful channel strip in your mixes for only $100 whilst on sale. Or if you're an All Access or SSL Complete subscriber, the MPC channel is now waiting for you in your SSL download manager along with all other SSL and Harrison plugins. Awesome, right? Okay, so in this example, I've got the MPC channel and some interview audio that we're going to try and tidy up. Now, the audio has been recorded on set, so it's suffering from the usual sort of issues of a bit of room noise, the mic being off axis, so we're not getting the real low end sort of main harmonics of the vocal, so it sounds a bit thin, and just general sort of compression and EQ just to bring this track to life. So let's first listen to the interview audio without any processing, and we'll see what we're working with. So. I can't wait for my debut originals album to finally be finished and be out there in the world for people to hear. And with your help, we can have some more budget to make amazing videos and get it heard by more people. So yeah, a little bit thin, but we can, we can use the, the equalizer to boost that up, a little bit of noise, so we can use the denoise and the filters just to sort of take away some of that extraneous tone. DS are just to tame any of those harsh syllabants and the compressor just to sort of balance the level. So let's start off looking at the routing. Now I'm not using the trim tool just because I didn't want to add gain to then bypass and it feel like a big shift. So we would generally use this to bring the level up or down. Um, and I've also got the phase tool if necessary. But the routing is what's important here. Now I'm starting off with the trim into the denoiser and we're just going to clear up the low end and the top end of extraneous noise into the filters just to again remove any sort of weird sort of harmonics in the sub low end we don't need and again maybe a bit of air conditioning noise a bit of sort of top end sort of fuzz we could just pull out with a filter at the top into the de that's just going to sort of tame this the harshness of any sort of strong sibilant sounds and then the compressor to level this off um, let's go now so i've got quite a sort of heavy high pass filter set up here. We've got 36 dB, but we can change these shapes to tailor in what we need and then we can just sort of move this around. So let's, uh, let's start off listening just to the EQ. So as you can see, this is the end of our chain. I'm gonna sort of find a, a tone that I like and then we'll, we'll use the denoiser and all the other tools just to sort of shape that. So this is what I've come up with. So this so, is where we start. I can't wait for my debut originals album to finally be finished and be out there in the world for people to hear. And with your help, we can have some more budget to make amazing videos and get it heard by more people. So we've bought a little bit of life, we've tamed it. Um, we, can e we can sort of see what these bands are doing by turning them off and on. And we can again with the filters. So let's have a listen to that. So. I can't wait for my debut originals album to finally be finished and be out there in the world for people to hear. And with your help, we can have some more budget to make amazing videos and get it heard by more people. So that's, yeah, we can, we can really dial in. There's eight bands plus the filters. There's so much control that we've got in this. Um, it's really useful. The other thing we've got here is the RTA. And as you'll see, so we've got the I can't wait for my debut showing, original. showing the signal. We can change that to the scroll or the bar. So 
I can't wait for my debut originals album to like showing the power of the frequencies in there and the lightning which I think is really useful because it, it thickens the bar to show you where it is without getting in the way of being able to visualize what you're doing with your EQ. So first. I can't wait for my debut originals album to finally be finished and be out there in the world for people to hear. So the EQ is really powerful, really quick, but having those eight bands plus the filters means you can really, really dial this in. So let's take that out. We've also got the denoiser and this is doing a lot just to remove some of that room tone that's in there. So I can't wait for my debut originals album to finally be finished and be out there in the world for people to hear. And with your help, we can have some more budget to make amazing videos and get it heard. So, I mean, it sounds like the room was fairly clean, so it's not doing loads, but it's just managing to sort of gate the, the top and the bottom just to sort of tidy that up and make sure that's crystal clear. The DS are then, we are having a listen to you. So, I can't wait for my debut originals album to finally be finished and be out there in the world for people to hear. And with your help, we can have some more budget to make amazing videos and get it heard by more people. So, I can't wait for my debut originals album to finally be finished and be out there in the world for people to hear. And with your help, we can have some more budget. So the intelligent DSR is almost transparent in there, but we're managing to tame the, the harsh S's and the, the T's without losing any intelligibility. It's not diminishing the top end, so it doesn't feel like the, uh, there's all of a sudden lots of th and th were taking away the S sound. That's really, really cool um, and really useful just being so transparent. I love that, that's really great. And the compressor here, I think we've just... So, I can't wait for my debut originals album to finally be finished and be out there in the world for people to hear. And with your help, we can have some more budget to make amazing videos and get... Okay, we can obviously, this is set to program, so this is sort of auto, um, it's, intelligently selecting the the attack and release just to make sure that's really sort of balanced but we can also go manual take program out and change the attack and release times here just to really dial in that compression but again super transparent i'm not doing loads i'm just really sort of making sure these big peaks are being controlled but it doesn't feel pumpy it doesn't feel jarring it just feels really natural and that's the beauty of the mpc channel is that it is just so transparent that you almost don't notice it so again it doesn't sound like we've done loads but i'm going to play it again now and i'm going to take this out and all of a sudden you're going to go oh what happened to the vocal it's it's that's the beauty here we're not looking for color we're not looking for anything other than pure fidelity um so it's we're looking to really just emphasize what's there and not add to it we're taking away more than we're we're giving so here we go so I can't wait for my debut originals album to finally be finished and be out there in the world for people to hear. And with your help, we can have some more budget to make amazing videos and get it heard by more people. Super simple, super powerful. Definitely give it a try. Really useful in music context as well, which I'm going to move on to and show you how that works now. Okay, so we've had a listen to the MPC channel in the context of post-production, but now we're gonna look at it from a musical angle. And here I've got a mix with a very sparse arrangement consisting of acoustic guitar, vocals, BVs, and some effects, and a little bit of violin. Now, because the arrangement is so sparse, I want to try and embellish the track with all of the, the key elements and just bring them to life without coloring them or oversaturating them. So the MPC channel is perfect for this context. Now let's have a listen to the acoustic guitar channel soloed. So you can have a listen to the way I've set this MPC channel strip up. Then I'll bypass it and you'll hear the difference. So let's go from here.
I've done is a 3 dB lift at the top end and a little bit of filtering down the low end to control that body and the guitar's come to life. It's come forward in the mix. It's becoming um, just so much more sort of naturally beautiful without having to sort of cut to pieces the rhythm or really compress anything. The de was there just to control some of the attack of the strings. The denoiser and the low end filter is just sort of containing the, the body of the guitar and with just a natural lift in the top end is just bringing out that sparkle of the strings. And that's all it needed. I think the key to the MPC channel is to just really sort of bring forward the beauty without overly colouring or saturating a channel and it's just bringing it to life. So let's have a listen to that same acoustic guitar in the context of the mix. I'm going to bypass it and then bring it back in and you'll be able to hear the full life of the guitar and what the MPC channel is doing. She's beauty of the kind you know that never can be bored She lives a life she's earned with every battle that she's fought She'll hold your hands through darker times till you reach the other side With eyes of stone she'll speak the truth her heart can never hide She'll never be a prisoner, unapologetic vision of a woman who is resolute Unafraid to tell the truth A woman who is resolutely Audrey Audrey Ooh. Audrey Audrey Such a simple move with the EQ shift and the control of the transients with the de and a little bit of the compressor has just brought that forward and brings it to life. Because the arrangement is so sparse, like we said, everything is hinging on the guitar to push the rhythm. So we don't want to be attacking it with the compressor and killing all those transients and, and that movement. But just pushing it forward with the MPC channel has just really brought that to life. I'm really pleased with that and I think that's a really good demonstration of the power of the MPC channel strip. So thank you for joining me for this demonstration of the MPC channel. I hope you've enjoyed it and if you want to find out more, please head over to harrisonaudio.com, check out more information on the plugin, check out the manual and dig a bit deeper into the controls. This is available for $99.99 right now, so no better time to experience the power of this. And if you're an SSL Complete subscriber, it's also available in your SSL Downloads Manager right now, so you can download it and check it out. If you've enjoyed this and want to see some more content, have a look at Solid State Logic's YouTube page and all our social media, and look out for more demos, audio examples, and new product launches with me soon. Thank you for joining me. I've been Lucas's. Goodbye.